Oh, now the gloves come off. After the annexation of Crimea, German Chancellor Angela Merkel joined the side of the sanctioners despite Germany having more than 6,000 companies with offices in Russia. Although Putin has had it quite easy so far, he now might have a reason to worry because when Germany says the economy, things are about to go down. Which is good, because the sanctions have so far been really lame. When Russia's membership in the G8 was suspended, Putin just said, It's no problem. I will form my own union. G1, which is perfect for me. No negotiations, no problems with pesky international laws prohibiting the reunion of the former Soviet Union. Now, hmm, where did I put that iron curtain? Russia's opposition leader Alexei Navalny, currently under house arrest for anti-Putin protests, also gave the West some pointers on how to hit Putin where it really hurts. Now, let's all hope that the West can integrate this wisdom in their slow-cooking sanctions soup before Putin moves one to the main dish. The French capital of Paris has been blanketed by such intense air pollution that the government had to issue a massive car driving ban to lessen it. When Najib Jung, the head of New Delhi, heard about it, he urged Paris to relax and said, until you can differentiate day from night, it's no problem, no problem at all. And we end with good news from the world of science, where astronomers prove the existence of gravitational waves bolstering the Big Bang Theory. The discovery is another slam dunk for Albert Einstein and might lead to the discovery of the theory of everything, which is great because it might give us a hint of what the hell is going on in Putin's head. And that was the Week in Color. See you all next time.